Hey guys, in the final of this trio of Amiibo unboxing, I will be looking at Captain Olimar, who is number 44 in the Super Smash Bros. Amiibo collection. Now, Olimar I've been anticipating for quite a while now, purely because I've wondered how they were going to go about doing the Pikmin. Of course, they're very small, um, the features are very small, such as their hands and their little antenna things. So I was really, you know, intrigued as to how they were going to do that. And looking from the outside, it looks like they've done a pretty good job. So uh, we'll, we'll have a, we'll open this up and have a closer look at the job they've done with Olimar. But like I said, on, from the from the outside, it, it, it actually looks really cool. It looks fantastic. Um, so let's uh, get this out of my arm. And bear with me a sec. This isn't the first Olimar figure I have, because I actually picked up this the other the other month, should I say? Back when I went to London MCM, I've got a World of Nintendo Olimar figure, which, you know, that's pretty awesome too. Um, but yeah, enough about you. <laughs> um, it's all about the amoeba. Because I don't really want to open this guy, I quite like him in this packaging. Right, here we go. I feel that Olimar was a little bit nerfed in uh, the latest instalment of Smash Bros. I don't know, I just feel that way, with the only having three Pikmin, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Right, so straight off, Olimar's helmet is made of quite a thin plastic, uh, a cheaper plastic as well, I would say. Um, but it actually does look really good. Um, his antenna is very, very wobbly. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't know if it's made of a different plastic that allows it to be that wobbly. A bit concerning. I mean, as if a, if a kid were to pick this toy up, I imagine that would break quite easily. But um, not that. Anyway, um, I'll blank out the Pikmin at the moment. We'll, we'll focus on Olimar. So yeah, he's got a uh, support as well, a plastic support in the middle there because of his walking animation but o Olimar himself is pretty nicely uh, detailed and then of course we've got the three Pikmin uh, just we'll have a little wobble of them see how steady they are they're actually pretty well held down and that's because they all have a fairly subtle uh, support um, if you can see that there they haven't gone for the clear support this time, they've actually gone for a gold uh, support, so it kind of blends into the base. Um, you can see the paintwork there, kind of just morphs together. You know, not a fantastic job, but, you know, it, it, unless you're really in closing, closing, inspecting closely like we are now, it's not too noticeable, to be honest. It's quite scary little hands, to be honest, look at them. But I think, to be honest, that's the, the best they could have done, really. I, I genuinely think they've done quite a nice job with these. It's, it's much better than I thought it was going to be, anyway. Um, when uh, they announced the, uh, the lineup of Super Smash Bros. Amiibo, and of course, the Amiibo would take the form of their character artwork, I kind of thought they might drop the Pikmin out of Olimar's amiibo. I'm really happy they didn't know because, you know, that's what he's all about. But yeah, that's uh, a very quick look at the uh, Captain Olimar amiibo. Uh, which I think, on the whole, is pretty damn good. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Um, stay tuned for more amiibo unboxing and, you know, maybe other Nintendo figurine unboxing if I ever want to open them up but I'm not sure I'm going to but yeah come back again